When solving system of equations, you want to be able to eliminate either the x or y variable. In this problem, we have 4x and 4x lined right above each other, but no elimination is going to take place because 4 and 4 are positive, and we need one of these values to be negative. Now when you're working with systems of equations, I highly recommend you rewrite the equation. Altering the original problem isn't wrong, but I've noticed that careless mistakes happen when kids don't rewrite the problem. Because here you're saying, I need to change one of these. If I change this right here by multiplying it by negative 1, I'll be able to rewrite the problem. And the problem will look like this. Negative 4x minus 6y equals positive 2. From there, after you've rewritten the problem and changed what you needed to make sure that you could eliminate, obviously, it's just like the other videos that you've watched. You add these together, there's no more x, goodbye, see you later. Here you've got 9y minus 6y, 3y, 3, y is equal to 1. Now again, this is only part of your answer. In order to get the rest of your answer, you need to take this value of y and you need to pick one of the original functions. Either this one, this one, or this new one that you created. It doesn't matter. Um, I particularly like the 4x plus 9y equals 1. I know for a fact that y equals 1, so this makes my math really easy. All I got to do is solve for x. Inverse operation to both sides. 4x equals negative 8. Therefore, x equals negative 2. Now, don't write your answer like this. The way you want to write your final answer is the values negative 2, 1. Because this clearly says this is the point in which these two functions intersect.